All right, guys, Rooster here in Tennessee with a uh, amp video for you. This is an amp that is available and uh, for sale. Just figured I'd demonstrate it. I haven't done a video on uh, one of these before. At first glance, uh, looks just like a uh, four pill 454 does, except this is a uh, four pill 2879 standard. Uh, Fat Boy switched it up on me and sent me this guy. Uh, it is in the smaller, I would call the 454 cabinet. I don't know if they're going to start using this cabinet for four pills going forward, but I'm not necessarily against it. Uh, takes up less real estate, a good bit smaller than the uh, standard five pill or four pill cabinet, whatever you want to call it. Uh, nice running amp, forces a good bit of air. Um, and I do like the, the, the uh, case being slotted rather than having a fan grill over it. I actually like that design a little bit better. So. I like these, and uh, this one again has four standard 2879s in it. Would make a uh, excellent driver for somebody. Uh, the way it's set up, I would I would probably put about a 60 watt radio into it. Um, you know, maybe more than that. You could probably hit it with like a 955 striker doing 70 or 80 watts or whatever. But uh, real comfortable putting a 60 watt radio into it and just kind of letting it do what it does. Um, we're going to test it with my 50 watt Connex here. Uh, we'll show the amp draw, um, show how much it's keying and everything else. On high power, I believe we'll get about a 3 watt day key out of this radio. And uh, we'll test it going into the amp and see what it keys coming out of it. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pop out the 1000 watt slug here. And I'm going to put a 100 watt, 100 watt slug in just to test our day key and stuff like that. So. We're on high power on the Conax again, about three watts or so going in, and we'll see what it makes the amp key wide open. So it gives us about an eight to 10 watt dead key there. And then on low power with my radio, we key a watt and a half, and it's just barely enough to key it. So a watt and a half going in um, makes it key basically the same out. Not even. So a watt and a half in makes it key even less. Let's just turn it off real quick. That's with it off. So it actually keys a little less than what you put into it. So not, a, not necessarily a bad thing. Then you hit the threshold there, high power out of the radio. Uh, three watts out. Bottom scale, so about 10 watts uh, coming out with three watts going in. So, pretty cool there, not bad at all. We'll pop this back out. And uh, put the 1,000 watt slug back in. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we've got this wide open, radio's on high. Swinging about 20 watts average, 50 watts peak in. And now we're going to test and see uh, what kind of current draw we're getting. New power supply, by the way. 150 amp variable supply uh, bought for myself. Early Christmas present for me. That's what we're going to be testing it on. 14.5 uh, volts. So uh, here we go. 11.8 amps. Audio, audio, audio. Hello, audio, audio. There you go. Now we're on peak power here. Hello, radio, audio, radio, audio, about four and a half. Audio test, one, two, three, audio test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Audio, 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 audio. About 450 PEP. And back to average power here, 1,000 watts slug, bottom scale. Hello, audio, about 190. Now what I'm going to do is turn the variable back and show you how this variable works on this guy. So that's 3 o'clock right there. 
audio, radio, and now we're uh, just over 300 watts PEP. Audio test, one, two, three, audio test, one, two, three. Now let's cut it back to about 12 o'clock. Audio test, one, two, three. Now we're down uh, around 200 watts PEP. Audio test, one, two, three. Audio test, one, two, three. We'll go back to nine. Audio test, one, two, three. Golly, 100 watts PEP. So this thing is uh, really, really varying the power a lot. Uh, audio, one, two. 100 watts PEP, all the way down. Audio, audio, and all the way down to about 80 watts PEP, audio test. So you get a great uh, vary in the uh, power with this thing. Going from about 450 PEP all the way down to, uh, what, 80 watts. Again, wide open. Audio, 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 audio. Maybe just slightly less than 450. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to turn the voltage up just a little. Now, a lot of people have been running the standards at uh, 15 volts now. I still don't feel quite comfortable doing it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the difference. Let's go 14.7 and see if it makes any difference at all. Now, that's very little change in voltage, but I uh, just want to see if it does make a difference. Audio, one, two, three, audio, 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 audio. Maybe just a hair, you know, uh, maybe it brought it up just a little bit. It was doing 200 or less than 200 average before. Audio, audio, audio. About the same, so it really didn't change it at all. If we went on up to 15 volts, may, uh, see the difference in it but again guys i recommend 14 and a half volts on the uh, standard uh 2879s since we are putting you know less drive into it you could probably get by with 15 volts on this box because we're not driving it as hard uh, but just for testing purposes i'm gonna practice what i preach and uh, test it at 14.5 and let it go uh you know if somebody wants to run it harder than that that's on them but i recommend 14.5 Anyway, that's it. Uh, I don't know if I'll get any more of these in like this or not. Kind of a, a unique little amp that I've got in. Figured I'd share and, and let you guys know it's available. So uh, if you like what this thing does, you can shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Good little standalone amp. Uh, should be very tough because you're not driving the 2879s very hard. Um, got the variable in there, so, you know, it's even padded down a little bit. Um and should make a good driver too either a standalone amp to, to talk on all the time or a good driver if you want if you got like a 12 pill um maybe a 16 uh eight pill eight pill c box this variable works very good uh very well um being able to go from 450 to uh 300 ish to 200 uh 100 over here and then 80 watts all the way down. So you get a great vary in a power with it. All right, guys, that's enough rambling for me. Questions, comments, complaints, let me know. Shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Hope to catch you guys out there. Appreciate the views and the business. Everybody have a good day. Rooster in Tennessee, see you, bye.